And then the last question, um, and I think we asked Sabrina this yesterday, and I, I think it was maybe something that you guys were still looking at. Just wanted to ask if there had been any um, new information about any steps that may be taken to protect um, American forces in the region, like in terms of air defense or new steps to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. Yeah. So, you know, for operation security reasons, I'm not going to be able to go into specifics other than to say that U.S. Central Command, of course, is taking this very seriously uh, and that we will take necessary measures and steps to ensure that our forces are protected, uh, recognizing as well that, that this is a dangerous neighborhood. Um, but again, yes, to answer your question, uh, we will take steps to ensure that our forces are protected. We go to Will. Uh, two questions. Um, first, uh, Qatar's Prime Minister expressed some concerns yesterday that um, the U.S. response to the Jordan attack could potentially affect the uh, negotiations over a new hostage deal. Is, is that part of the Pentagon's calculus in, in, in determining a U.S. response to this? So, well, I don't have anything specifically on that other than to say, again, you know, as part of any decision-making process, we take a wide range of considerations into account, again, to include what our broader regional goals uh, are, which from the very beginning has been to prevent uh, the situation in Israel uh, in Gaza from uh, you know, expanding into a broader conflict. I'll just leave it there. Second, um, it's, been, it's been two days since the, the, the attack in Jordan. Um, is there concern that that, this, the, that delay in, in, res, in responding could give these groups um, time to prepare um, to, uh, to you know, disperse from likely targets, et cetera? So, well, would I, you know, again, I'm not going to get into any details of what, about what uh, a potential future operation could look like. You've heard both the President and Secretary Austin say that we will respond in a time and a manner of our choosing. Three U.S. service members were killed, over 40 wounded. Oh, by the way, these service members were deployed into the region to contribute to regional security and stability in support of the international coalition to ensure the lasting defeat of ISIS. So there will be consequences, and I'll just leave it at that.